find the total surface area of the following solids. So I'm going to go do a number of examples on different solids. Now this is a cuboid. So to find the solid, sorry, total surface area of any solid, you have to find the types of sides. So basically you have to find the area of all sides. So well, this has a, this is the bottom. You got a bottom. This is the base or the bottom and the top. The area of the base and the top are equal. The area of the two sides are equal. You got two sides and then you got a front and a back which are equal area and the top and the bottom. So volume, sorry, total surface area, I'll write TSC. Total surface area is basically for this you got uh, area of the, so let me start with the, if you consider the base, this is the base or the bottom and the top will have the same area. So I'll go two times. This is length times width, so base times height, which is eight times five. So this will give you the area of the top and bottom. So this is top plus bottom. Okay, so it's basically, if you know the area formula, you can find total surface area. The two sides, the two sides have the same area. So that would be two times. Uh, the side is, this is base and this is height. So this is 5 times 6. And the front and the back. If you look at the front, the front has a length of 8 and a height of 6. So, and the back will also have the same area. So that will be 2 times, 2 times 8 times 6. 2 times 8 times 6. So you don't need to remember any formula. So this is the front. I'll write F for front and the back. So the TSC, total surface area. So let's do without a calculator. So this is 8 times 5 is 40. 40 times 2 is 80 centimeter squared. Plus 5 times 6 is 30 times 2 is 60 centimeters squared. This is 8 times 6 is 48 times. 48 times 2 is 96 centimeters squared. You can do it with a calculator. So this is how much? 140. So let me do without a calculator. 140 plus 90 plus 6. Okay, so which is? This is 230. So the total surface area is 236 centimeter squared. Now, if you want to use a calculator, you can do the whole thing in one step like this. So I'll put this in the bracket. You don't need to. So this is 2 times 8 times 5 plus <coughs> 2 times 5 times 6 plus bracket 2 times 8 times 6 just to confirm my answer which is 236 centimeters squared, just like that. Okay, so this is something that you can do yourself. So you got, this is two meters, this is one meter, and this is one meter. Use the same principle, try to do this yourself. Now this is an open container, so it doesn't have the top. So for this total surface area, uh, first let's find the area of the side. Okay, sorry, the front and the back. So this is 30 centimeters, and this is 10 centimeters. So this will be, you've got the front and the back, so this is 2 times 30 times 10. Okay, now that you've got two sides, this, this length is 20, and this is 10. So that will be 2 times 20 times 10, and you've got only one bottom don't have the top, so it is an open container. So the base would be 30 times 20. 30 times 20. Now this is in centimeters, so this the answer would be centimeter squared. So let's use the calculator. Bracket 2 times 30 times 10 plus 2 times 20 times 10 plus 30 times 20, 
30 times 20, hopefully this is right, so this is 1600 or 1600 centimeter squared. Okay, moving on. Now this is a square based pyramid. So how many types of surfaces do you have? So this is the base and how many sides do you have? You're going to have four sides and the, air, the shape of each side is, is a, a triangle. So this is the side. So you have to find the area of the base and then area of triangle and then times it by four. So the total surface area, total surface area is the area of the base, which is a square base, which is six times six. Plus you got four triangles. So four times uh, area of a triangle is half base. So this is your base and this is your height. Your height is given to be 8 centimeters. So 4 times 0 0.5 times base, your base is 6 and your height is 8. So let's do without a calculator. So this is 36 plus this is what is 4 times half. So that is 2 times this is how much? 6 times 8 is 48. So which is 36 plus 96, which is uh, 132 centimeter squared. So let's use the calculator just to confirm the answer. 6 times 6 plus bracket 4 times 0 0.5 times 6 times 8, which is 132 centimeter squared. So the answer is right. You can do this yourself. You've got uh, how many, you got, okay, let's do this. This is a different type of question. So total surface area, so how many types of surface do you have? You have the base, which is rectangular. So the area of the base would be 20 times the base. You can say this is the base and this is the height, base times height. So it is 20 times 16 or 16 times 20, doesn't matter. Plus, how many triangles do you have? You got two triangles, okay? So this is one triangle, the, fr the front and the back. So this is also a triangle. They have the same area. So you got two triangles. So start with two times half, which is 0 0.5 times base. What's the base? Base is 16 times 12. And how many you got these two sides, okay, so this is the front and this is the back, so you got two sides. So what is this, what is the shape of this side? This is a rectangle, isn't it? So this is, uh, this is 16, okay, so that's interesting. So here you have got this 20, so how much would this length be? Okay, so this length, is it given? Okay, so this length you have to find. Okay, how can we find that? So I hope you have learned Pythagoras theorem. So you can use Pythagoras theorem. So if this, if this, okay, let me do this. Let me cancel, show me. So using right angle triangle of Pythagoras, hopefully you've learned it. If you haven't learned it, it's very simple to say, this is eight, this is eight from year to year is eight because this is an isosceles triangle and this is 12. So you've got a right angle triangle and say let me call this x. So we need to find this. So using Pythagoras I can say x squared is equal to 8 12 squared plus 8 squared. So 12 squared is how much? It's 144 plus 64. So x squared, I didn't realize this is a bit complicated question. So this is 1, uh, 208, am I right? 1, 6, 140 plus 60 is 200, so this is 208. And then I have to find the square root of this side, so to take the square root of this side. So x is square root of 208. So let me use a calculator. So shift square root of 208 is, I'll say 14.4 centimeters. So this is 
14.4 centimeters. So you got two sides, so this is 14.4 centimeters in one BP. And you've got two sides, the front, you can call this, this one side and this is the other side. So this will be two times, your base is 20 times 14.4. Okay, so let's use the calculator. So this will be bracket 20 times 16, which was the base. Okay, mm. okay, so yeah, yeah, okay, so let's do the base plus uh, uh, the two triangles will be two times 0 0.5 times 16 times 12 plus bracket 2 times 20 times 14.4 which will give you equal 1088 centimeter cube 1088 centimeter squared sorry now you can also argue suppose if this is a tent if you consider this as a tent and if you're using the cloth you don't need to find the area of the base because you're not going to use cloth at the base. Okay, now let's imagine this is a, a solid with a base. Okay. Now this is a diff this is a cylinder. You want the total surface area. So total surface area for the formula is like this. You've got two circles. So the area of this circle is pi r squared. So the area of this circle is also pi r squared. And this is called the curved surface area. The curved surface area has this formula, which is 2 pi r h. Okay, so we need, this formula will be given. So the total surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. You don't need to remember the formula, but this formula would be given. But basically, it is this is curved surface area. This is CSA, curved surface area. And total surface area is the area of the top, the bottom, and the curved surface area. So to just substitute the formula, so this, you know, your rate, this is your radius. Your radius is 2 centimeters, and your height is 10 centimeters. So let's substitute the formula. So this is 2 times pi times your radius squared, which is 2 squared, plus 2 times... <coughs> pi times 2 times your height. So let's directly use the calculator. So this is 2 times shift pi times 2 squared plus 2 times shift pi times 2 times 10. This will be so it's 150.8 centimeter squared. I'll write in 1 dp, 150.8 centimeter squared. The unit should be correct because you're finding area. So, sorry, this is not centimeter squared. It is meter squared because this is in meters. Okay, now this is something that you can do yourself. This is a tent. So here... You don't, you have, of course, you've got all the measurements. You've got the base, you've got the height. So you've got two triangles and two rectangles. So find the area of these two triangles and rectangles and times it by 16, which will give you the cost of fabric. Now, this is the last shape, which is area of a cone. Okay, so TSA of a cone, TSA of a cone is area of this surface, which is pi r squared. This is your radius, which is 2. And this length is called the slant height, or let me call this S. Okay, and the formula for this is pi, this is a curved surface area. Okay, the side is curved, so it's called curved surface area. The formula is pi times r times S where S is the slant height. So the formula would be total surface area is pi r squared 
plus pi r s. So let's use the formula which is pi times your radius is again 2 squared plus pi times 2 times 4.5. You can write the answer in pi if you want. So this is how many pi? So this is pi times 4 plus this is how much? 2 times 4.5 is 9. So this is 9 pi. So if you want to write in doing one step, so this is 4 pi plus 9 pi is how many pi's? Is this is 13 pi centimeter, sorry, meter squared. Meter squared. Now if you want to write this as a decimal, you can go 13 times pi, which is 40.8 meter, 84 meter squared in 2 dp. So 40.84 meter squared sorry this is in 2 dp okay and finally okay one more shape this is this is a sphere so total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared and the radius say is this is a marble and the radius is say 4 centimeters the radius is 4 centimeters all these formulas would be given, so this is 4 times pi times 4 squared. Okay, so this is 4 times pi and 4 squared is 16. And 16 times 4 is 64. You can write the answer as 64 pi centimeter squared. And if you want to write this as a decimal, 64 times sorry, 64 times shift pi, which is 201.06 centimeter squared, 201.06 centimeter squared.